born and unborn, when, when all eyes are when they say black lives matter, well, how do we be more effective in communicating that, yes, affirm that, but all lives matter? And how, how do we be more effective in that regard? One thing I like to point out to him, I, you know, if a person, because I have two witnesses here, right here, Ramon, and I also have Brandon in charge of the uh, Distance Texas Freedom Force, and so I've got to share a brief story with you. Um, during this time, um, uh, how, how long ago was it when that incident happened downtown? May 2020. May 2020. May 2020. Uh, we're downtown. This is Texas Freedom Force. They're there um, with the full battle rattle. They have their camo on and they have their um, um, weapons and all that great stuff. And there's a march around the corner with Black Lives Matter. Brandon called me up. I had another event that day. Brandon said, hey, Tim, Dr. Wesley, are you going to be able to make it? Yeah, come on down. I went down, and all of a sudden, um, there was a clash that's taken place. And so what took place with this clash, we have Black Lives Matter people there, and they're misinformed uh, on who this is Texas Freedom Force is. And so at this point, I stand in the middle of them, and I began to talk to the Black Lives Matter people, and I had a petition. And I said, hey, what are you all here for? What are you looking for? Well, we're tired of what happened to George Floyd. We're tired of what happened to, to the person in Georgia. I said, okay, we're tired of it too. I said, do you want more police accountability? Yes, we want more police accountability. You want more transparency? Yes, we want more transparency. I said, you want some equality? Yes, we want equality. I said, you want all those things? I said, would you sign a petition to fight for it? Yes. We'll sign that petition. I said, good, because all these guys already have it. <laughs> all of them already have it. So how do we tell them? I tell them through examples of this is what we're doing as Republicans. I know that black lives matter. For me, it's easier. For people that are not black, it's tough. But you can give them stats and say, you know what? I, I understand where you're coming from. And, and that's why I fight, because oh, almost half of the black population have been wiped out due to Margaret Sanger Amen. and Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. oh. Amen. Yeah. Come on. That's right. Come on. That's yeah. right. But what I want to clap about is the fact that as a black Republican, as Republicans in general, we are fighting to make sure that the almost half of the black population that was wiped out doesn't keep happening. Amen. Amen. So when they tell me, what about black lives? I tell them, what are you doing to make sure that we're not having any more little black children aborted in the womb? Yeah. What are you yeah. doing? We're fighting for it. And so no matter what they say and how they look at you, you can say, you may hate me because of my skin color, because I'm not black. But I love you enough to fight for your generation and the next generation to come, whether you know I'm fighting for you or not. I'm fighting for you at the polls. I'm fighting for you in the streets. I'm fighting for you at the state level. I'm fighting for you at the federal level. I'm fighting for you and your next generation. So hate me all you want. I love the next generation and the ones to come. Absolutely. So we know. Hope that helps. No one perfect answer. But we let them know what the party is doing. When they tell me Black Lives Matter, I tell them, look, I said, hey, we have Tim Scott right now. They were talking about George Floyd when that happened. I said, Tim Scott, Senator Tim Scott in, in Carolina, South Carolina. I said, he's pushing forth a bill, and that's the one petition that I had these gentlemen to sign. I said, this has been going on for years. I said, I've been stopping the ground for it beforehand. Yeah. We're talking about it before George Floyd died. Yep. And so when I start telling them that we're trying to push legislation that will get you what you want, and here's the thing. I also tell them that you're hating Republicans, but it's Democrats who are blocking bills like this. Yep. 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 Yep.